everybody, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. So it's time for Friday favorites and flops again. <laughs> I have a fair amount of things to share with you because I didn't do Friday favorites and flops last week due to a crazy work schedule. Um, I actually have another crazy weekend this weekend, which is why I'm filming this while my hair is still pretty much like completely wet. <laughs> I'm trying to get it done as quickly as possible so I can get back to work. All right, so I'm going to start out with my home fragrance pick that has sort of been a favorite for the last couple of weeks for me, and it has been Apple Pumpkin from Bath & Body Works. This one is unburned. Um, I've been burning one downstairs in my dining room. This is such a beautiful fragrance, you guys. First off, the label and the lid are amazing. I have done an in-depth review of this guy. I'll try to remember to list it down below in case you're interested. But basically, this is a really nice fall transitional scent. We have had some cooler days here in Oregon, finally, and um, but it hasn't been cold enough to really like get going on like the warm, spicy pumpkin stuff quite yet. This smells like fall, but it smells like just a fresh, clean, slightly fruity because of the apple in here, but you also get that hint of pumpkin. It's just that like all around fall, like fruitier scent that just smells amazing this time of year. So. This does have some cinnamon and clove and a little bit of sweetness to it, but mostly it's just that beautiful kind of like pumpkin, apple, like tart, fruity type of scent. So anyway, this has been a huge hit for me and um, I have noticed that it has not been on the website as of late, so I'm hoping that they're just sort of making more because <laughs> I really would like a few more for the rest of the fall season. So, okay. One of the things that I am actually trying in my hair, I'm, I'm trying a new hair care line that was sent to me by the company called Hair Dance. Um, they are a cruelty-free, um, all-natural hair care company. And one of the things that I've been trying from them that I really like a lot um, is their instant conditioning spray. And I have been using this every day after I get out of the shower. I just spray it into my hair. And what it does is it helps to moisturize my hair. My hair is pretty dry from coloring it. Well, actually bleaching it <laughs> and then toning it gray. Um, so my hair has kind of been through a lot in the last couple of months and so I've been looking for products that are really moisturizing that um, sort of put back some much needed nutrition back into my hair and this has been really really lovely. This has um, silk proteins, provitamin B5 and marine collagen so it doesn't weigh my hair down and it just makes it feel really really soft it makes it easy to brush through i'm going to be doing a whole like dedicated review on this line but this product so far has been a huge standout for me it's a four ounce size um i'm gonna i will link this down below but wait until i do my in-depth review to like get my thoughts on everything because there have been a couple of, well, there's one thing from the line that I definitely don't really care for so far, um, but this has been the standout, and then everything else I haven't really used enough to really form an opinion on yet. But this right here, I've really been enjoying ever since I received it, and I have noticed that it has helped to moisturize my hair. You can also spray this in your hair throughout the day to sort of like refresh it and add a bit more moisture if you need it, so that's really nice. I've been going back to using my hyaluronic acid in the evening and this one is from Joy and Karma. You can get hyaluronic acid serum from lots of different companies. I happen to really like this one. Um, I'm going to try one from Paula's Choice next. I'm more than halfway done with this guy. so. But there are times where I just sort of forget to use this. But when I do start using it again, I, use, I notice such a difference in my skin. It, hyaluronic acid really helps to plump up my skin. It moisturizes it, but it doesn't like provide like an overabundance of moisture. I tend to have really oily skin, so I don't need like a really super rich, thick cream like some people do. I just need like a moisture boost and this gives it to me. Um, it's not heavy. It sinks right into my skin. It's absolutely beautiful. There's no fragrance to this one at all and it just feels amazing on my skin. In the morning when I wake up, I look so much more hydrated. It My skin looks just puffed up a little bit, I guess I could say. Um, 
sorry, my hair is gonna, I'm gonna look back on this video and be like, why didn't you just blow dry your hair? But I'm trying really hard not to blow dry it. I don't want to damage it any further than I already have. But anyway, this just plumps up my skin. It makes it look beautiful. And um, I'm trying to remember now to use it every single night. I will usually use this right after I put on my toner. I'll put this on and then any other treatment, like if I'm doing a retinol or like a BHA, I will put that on over top of this. Um, this week I have a couple of lip products that I've been wearing pretty regularly. What you saw on my lips most of the week is Buxom's Dolly. This is just a beautiful um, mauve. It's really beautiful for the fall. I love it any time of year, but it's such a great neutral and I just, I just, I love this so much. I mentioned this in my top 10 favorite fall lip products video that I did yesterday. So um, if you missed that video, I will of course link it down below for you. But this is definitely, this is such a staple for me. I'm already about to the halfway point with this guy. So this is the one that I've repurchased several times from this Buxom lip gloss line. I just, I love it. I can't get enough of it. And another thing I wanted to mention is the Smith's Rosebud Solve. I'm wearing this on my lips right now. I'm actually wearing it over top Flutter Kiss from the NYX High Voltage lipstick line. This is definitely a favorite too, but I haven't really been wearing it other than like today. But I've been loving putting this on top of like whatever I'm wearing because it makes my lips really glossy. It looks like it has a pink tint, but it's actually clear once you get it on your lips. But what I like about it is it just makes my skin, um, not my skin, my lips feel so moisturized. It's very slick. It has kind of a Vaseline type of consistency. So if you don't like that, then definitely like keep that in mind before you purchase it. But um, it's really nice because it just glides on. It seems to be really long lasting and it makes my lips really shiny and I love the rose scent that it has as well. I'm kind of a sucker for rose scented things as of late, so this one's really, really nice if you've never tried it. Mascara that I've been wearing all week long that just every time I use it, I remember how much I love this. And I'm going to be getting a couple of these, I think, during the VIB sale when I can get them for 20% off. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This one's obviously just a little sample size, but I love everything about this. The brush is an hourglass natural metal bristle brush I guess you could say and it just like volumizes my lashes like crazy not much in the length department but it does volumize um this doesn't flake on me it doesn't transfer it doesn't smudge or anything like that I even use this on my lower lashes I do have to like clean up just a little bit because the brush is a little bit big for my lower lash area but I just like the way that it volumizes my lower lashes as well so I like using it down there but the Too Faced Better Than Sex every time I use this I just I love this mascara. I just hate the fact that it's like $22. So anyway, it is a really good one. Okay, I recently toned my hair gray again, as you can probably see. And what I used was something that my stylist picked up for me, and then I went to the salon and grabbed it from her and then followed her instructions. I used the Pravana Chroma Silk Vivids in the color silver. I showed this on my Instagram. This is just the box from it. I kept the box. Um, I used three quarters of the bottle and I mixed it with some water to create almost like a conditioner type of consistency. And then I put that on my hair one day after I washed it and I left it on for about 20 minutes, rinsed it off. It definitely at first imparted some purple like hue into my hair, but after like a couple of days, like that faded and it became like a, a more gray tone. Um, I think this is something that I'm probably going to do on my hair once a month until like my natural gray hair really starts growing in. Um, this helps to also kind of tone down the yellow that I still have from the blonde that is left over from before. So it helps to tone that down. Um, I think you can actually get this stuff on Amazon, but she bought it for me at cost and then I just reimbursed her for that. So um, but I do believe that you can probably find this on Amazon or eBay or some other website somewhere. I'll try to find one and link it down below for you. But the silver is what I used. Um, do know that um, you have to bleach your hair for this stuff to work. Um, 
it doesn't really grab on to hair that is um, that has color deposited on it if that makes sense so it doesn't do much to like my blonde that I have left in here it helps to take the brassiness out but it, it doesn't turn that gray just so you know the only thing that turns gray is the parts that she like bleached so do know that if you're just going to put this on top of like your like blonde hair it's it's not really going to do much for you got to go get it bleached first which kills your hair <laughs> as i can attest to but if you are wanting to participate in the gray hair trend that's probably what you're going to have to do but anyway the chroma silk vivids from pravana pretty great not overly drying on top of like the dryness that i already have going on okay and i think am i ready for my flop yeah i'm ready for the, my flop okay this bums me out because I was so excited to finally get this. This was from my Vitacost haul. It's the Burt's Bees Naturally Nourishing Milk and Honey Body Lotion. So it's not that it's not a great moisturizing body lotion. The scent and my like personal like body chemistry do not mix. This smells so bad once I get it on. It is absolutely awful. Like I ended up like having to like wash my arms in the sink. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. Um, I'm going to probably use this on Stella. I tried it on her a couple times and like it, it just smelled like milk and honey. It smelled like the the lotion itself on her. But for some reason on me, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, but like my body chemistry is just changing so much. Things that used to smell amazing on me just like don't anymore. Like perfumes are not the same. Um, I can still, with a lot of my perfumes now, I will just spray them on my clothing instead of on my body. So then... You know, I can still enjoy my favorite fragrances, but if I spray them on my skin, I notice that they don't smell the same way that they used to. So I'm not sure what I'm doing differently. Like nothing has really changed in terms of diet or whatever. So I don't know if it's hormonal, but when I use this on my skin, I was like, oh, this stinks. It reeks. And so I literally had to wash it off. So it works great. As a moisturizer which is why I'm gonna to continue to finish it up on Stella but oh man yeah on me no not good huge huge flop so let me know if any of you have noticed that about yourselves as you're getting older like perfumes not smelling the same or body lotions not smelling the same after you apply them it's a total bummer because I really do love this scent um, just not on me like I said so anyway those are my Friday favorites and flops. I hope you guys all have a really great weekend. I'm going to be busy working the whole weekend again, um, which is a good thing. <laughs> I am starting to near the end of my wedding season, so everything will get a little bit more like normal in my life again, and I can start to put a little bit more of my energy back into YouTube in terms of like getting back to comments a little bit quicker and stuff like that. So. If I haven't like responded to some of your comments, my apologies. I just honestly like have been running out of time every single day. Things have been a little bit nuts with like floral orders at the last minute and um, just trying to stay on top of what I already had scheduled. So thank you guys for understanding and um, I hope you all have a really great weekend and you will see me next week. I already have a couple of videos pre-recorded next week is going to be a lot of focus on home fragrance stuff for the fall so I hope you are excited for that and um, I'll see you then bye guys